that's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ayy, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bankrolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ay, 12 can't really stop shit, so I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit. In a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sell. Hitting bitches with the old well. Need a hundred million on the low scale. On my worst night, I'm the best nigga. Wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him. Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds. Till I can't feel like Ride with me if you ride with me You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky Come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky Come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Five on it. Tell me what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Tell me what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Hey. Tell me what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell me what you want, what you want, what you want, what you want. Yo, what's happening?
passing through. I'm going to keep this stream short and sweet for you guys. Let's have a conversation. Let's get with it. All right, then. Cool. So look what's happened, man. Remember, as we always say to you, in order to make sure that there is a clear, definitive move to the upside, we need confirmation. Always, key zones in the chart need to be confirmed before you can make the commitment and say, yeah, Bitcoin's going to go to the upside. Look what's just happened. All right, we're all about movement, ladies and gentlemen. Can you hear me now? Ah, man, can you hear me now? I'm getting a bit crazy with this price action, man. You can hear me now, yeah? <laughs> it wouldn't be a boom. It wouldn't be a trader's reality stream if I did not do something wrong. What's good, guys? What's good? Can we hear it all? Can we hear it, yeah? Sound gen... <laughs> All right, listen, first thing we need to consider is the following, ladies and gentlemen. It's no surprise that this has happened. Why? Why is it no surprise, guys? Because look. Look at all these lovely points of liquidations right here. Look at these liquidation points. Eating away. Market Maker has had a nice day today. Let me just bring up this chart. Reduce the brightness on your screen, guys. This is going to be a bright screen. Here we go. Look at what's happened here. Earlier on today, Market Maker induces the retail trader to move price higher. There it is. What does he go for? He goes for all the longs, the liquidation points for the shorts to the upside. As we saw earlier, the, the chart earlier on showed that there were more shorts favoring higher prices, sorry, favoring lower prices, and the liquidation zones for those shorts were all the way at the top in this area here. So the Market Maker needed to come back to that zone, which he did today. All right, man, what is going on with this stuff right here, man? Bookmap's going crazy. Bitcoin's going crazy. Unbelievable. So here, check this out. This behavior right here, you can see these green dots. This is where the market maker traps traders. All right, he gets them committed to go long. Funnily enough, this is where they reverse it. All right. Now, earlier on, they didn't take these zones of liquidity. So the market maker then shifts all the way up to the zones and takes out all the liquidations for the shorts. OK, so he's just released a lot of liquidity from the marketplace. OK, then look what happens. All these zones right here are long liquidation points. OK, look at the timing of when these traders got in. It's despicable. Look, one green dot, green, 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 green. These are people going long. The only people that are winning are the guys going short. OK, look at that bleed to the downside. Now people have gone short in this range right here. Unfortunately, price is going to snap back up and it's going to eat those liquidation points for the shorts as well. They are always taking liquidation points because this is the name of the game, guys. This is where they make their money. OK. Let's have a look at price again. See, now they've come back down straight into the range that we moved away from. Typical market maker behavior, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable price action. Let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is taking the bleed to the downside. Ethereum, exactly the same story. She also had a load of liquidations as well. Here we go. Let me get that up for you. Ether. Let's have a look at this. Come on. Here we go. Look at all those longs that got liquidated right there. $42 million worth of longs right there. You had 24. Unbelievable. Absolutely chaotic. You can see right here. Look at all the short liquidations. These are the potential short liquidations based on the delta. So it tells us there are more short liquidation points than there are longs. OK, and just look what they did today, man. They came up to the range, they hit it and then they reverse price straight back. Unbelievable. So what can we expect next, ladies and gentlemen? Straight over to Bitcoin. I'm going to keep this live short and sweet so you guys get the right information and then I'll leave you guys to be. So we are still within the peak formation. OK. Until Bitcoin breaks this zone down here where the previous green wick, sorry, the wick um, green vector candle, which is made up of a wick in this zone right here on the hour on the hour chart. Oh, my days. I'm losing my speech. What is going on? So if Bitcoin breaks this range and makes its way to this zone, it can still be deemed as a valid peak formation if it holds. Principally, we would want price to come right down and bounce away from this zone. OK. Looking at the book map, you can see what's happening there. They have been eating liquidity non-stop in the book map, guys. Absolutely ripping it. Now, this is what's important about the book map. Looking at Bitcoin across the five exchanges. Wait a second. Wait for that to load up again. 
Computer can't hack it, man. It's going crazy. I've got so much running right here. Look at that. Here we go. Back down to 40k. Earlier, they had 338. Now they got 249 Bitcoin. All right. The 39 zone is actually reduced. That too also had 300 Bitcoin, but now it's gone to 178. Okay. So there's a dynamic shift. Something's changing. All right. The fact that they keep taking off these orders and potentially moving them higher could be an implication that they may want to get their longs filled sooner. So could that imply that they're trying to move price back up again? All right. Could this be a stop hunt? But until Bitcoin, if it breaks this range right here, ladies and gentlemen, there's a good chance we're going to see this range. All right. And that will take us towards the 40K zone. Sharp move to the downside, man. I need to check. Is there any news that's come out that could have triggered this? Any news that could have come out from this? What's going on, man? Mad love and respect to everyone passing through. Here we go. All right, so Fed web paper and central digital bank. Okay, been clear. Okay, so it might be to do with the Russian Ukraine set situation. See, earlier on today, guys, in the live stream, we were talking about, see, look, Philippine bank to offer Bitcoin trading. It's like earlier, all they were doing was talking about good stuff with Bitcoin, which could have been a reason why traders were buying at this point right here. They hit the range daily high and they rejected the range. What were we talking about earlier on with the M levels? Pivot point, M3 pivot confirmed, shift all the way to the M5 projection point. Why do they hold at these points and reject from them? It's crazy, isn't it? If you watch the last few videos in the channel, the, the, the couple of streams that we've been doing, we've been talking about this move happening to the upside. So check this out. Um, where is it? Let's pull this one image up. So Bitcoin's move from here. The stream that we did a couple of days ago, we were talking about understanding why this was an important zone for Bitcoin. And that's that zone right there. To bring it up on the one hour time frame. And here we go. This area right here. Okay. Then look what happens. Keeping price contained in this range and they shift out of the range. Now this move is a bold move, ladies and gentlemen. The start of the next hour candle, which is in six minutes time, is going to be a very important candle. They are either going to just follow through with this candle or the five in five minutes time, the candle is going to reverse back up. This is classic market maker behavior. If they've induced enough traders to the downside to get them committed on shorts. So right now you can see $11 million worth of shorts have been opened. That's Ethereum. Sorry. Let me get Bitcoin back up. I'm going as fast as I can right here, man. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. All right, so look. Look at these red dots. People are going short as we speak. They are going short. So $42 million worth of shorts have been opened here and $98 million worth of shorts have been opened here, which would mean further up are the liquidation points for those $98 million worth of shorts open. So shorts, 100x, $98 million right there. And then, of course, up here, wow, there's $154 million worth of shorts in that range right there. So the principle would say, what point will the market maker decide to reverse it? Are they going to start looking at pulling price all the way back up towards the red vector zone? This is what we're waiting for. We've got four more minutes for this to happen. OK, earlier on, we did a video on the altcoins. OK, and how to find altcoin liquidity pools. OK, and we looked at comp. Let me quickly pull up comp for you. Look what comp did. I'll pull up that chart right now. <clears throat> so. Look what happened here, all right? They were getting ready to try and take the liquidation points for the shorts up here, okay? Now, if you pull up comp in this chart right here, you can see, let me pull that up, tier three. This should be interesting. All right, so look at that. In comparison. So these are the comp levels. So from the stream, from the video earlier on, we're talking about the fact that they haven't come back down towards these zones of liquidity just yet because they are, look, green vector zones, green um, candle, sorry, green dots, inducing buys, inducing buys, getting the retail trader to commit his liquidity and stay with his longs. All right, because this is money down here. All right. Then look what happens. They shift out of the range with comp. They initiate the reversal back up towards the liquidation points for the shorts. 
And look, look at that, man. They just ate all those shorts and then they reverse price aggressively to the downside. Unbelievable price action, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy move for a Thursday, in my opinion. Here we go. Two more minutes, guys. Are you guys enjoying this? This is crazy. <laughs> no moon. It's over, guys. <laughs> it ain't over, man. It's just about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. It is crazy across the board right now. You've got to be mindful of that. Okay, then here we go. Waiting for the start of a new vector candle. Are they going to make this return right now? This is what I'm waiting for. Two minutes time, guys. Two minutes time. This is going to be literally make or break for this range. Need to pull up the book map, see what they're doing in that area. Look, there's a lot of liquidity coming into the charts. That is crazy. Let me just reduce this down right now so that we can see where we end up going. Here we are. Keep an eye out on this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so two more minutes. There's a lot of liquidity pumping in right now. This is a make or break for Bitcoin at the 40k zone. If the next candle doesn't start and shift all the way up, done. <laughs> Stock's taking a beating. We're heading for Earth's core. <laughs> it could be. Yes, answer. Yeah, I had to change. <clears throat> you understand. When I created the thumbnail, price was here. And then I went and sorted out what I needed to sort out. I come back to the charts and this madness happened. So I was like, oh, I've got to change everything now. Because I was hoping that they were going to just keep it price in this range right here. And then happy days. We could have had a conversation and start applying the concept between the liquidation points for the shorts and the longs. But all they've done is they quickly just shifted price to the downside. Here we go. One more minute's time, guys. One more minute. Could Bitcoin be following the, the Nasdaq? It could be following the Nasdaq. It's just liquidity, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter if the Nasdaq's moving or not. What I'm looking for or paying attention to is the fact that in Bitcoin right now, they have just attacked all of these longs, all right, in the zone. Look at all these liquidation points. And they added more to the chart. Look what they did. They just shifted straight down and hit all of that money. This game is about hunting for liquidity. It's not about, you know, oh, it's, it, it just you just need to get that in your mind, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Price doesn't matter. Where's price on this? Like, right, it's all the way over there. But what do we care about price when we can see where the money's at? And we need to make the judgment on the likelihood of price making that journey towards those zones. Here we go. 10 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Make or break for Bitcoin if it's going to break down lower. Let's pull up the big, um, the book map. Let's have a look. Here we go. A lot of liquidity coming in at 41,200. Is it a spoof? Are they going to turn? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Getting ready. And yesterday's low could be a point of support. They've broken way below the daily open. Is Bitcoin going to recover at all? Or are they just going to make a run for profit? They're going to hit those liquidation points for those longs, man. They're going to take them out. Here we go. There it is, guys. All coming in right now. Look at this volume right here on the book map. They are hitting that range hard. 40,000. Is it adding up? Is the liquidity? They're taking it off slowly, man. They're taking that liquidity off. It's 332 today. Now it's 251. Are they moving it to move it higher? This is what we're waiting for. Here we go. Yesterday's low potential test, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. Let's see what's going to happen. Look, they're putting those orders in. There she is. Absorbed. Look at that. Big boy move. Big boy. Look at that hard liquidity. The darker the liquidity, th sorry, the darker the zone here, the more liquidity is present in the chart. Okay, look, they've just made the run. They have just made the run, ladies and gentlemen. 40k potentially in sight i mean it is quite far away if they don't decide to reverse back up but look at the movement man it is taking a bleed to the downside <laughs> for anybody new to the channel mad love and respect for passing through you know what to do be sure to subscribe tune in with this chaos we call cryptocurrency again the narrative of this channel is simple we don't care about price we care about movement and where that movement ends up at, okay? Today was a classic play by the market makers, man. This stop hunt rise to the upside and then drop. Pattern watchers, you would have known that. 
We've been paying attention to this range all day today. And they just took all that liquidity, trapped the shorts, got the longs committed, and then, sorry, hit the shorts and got the longs committed. And they just bled price to the downside. Welcome to trading. Welcome to this mad game. You know, unbelievable. Absolutely chaos, man. If you want access to these indicators, guys, they are free of charge. Pinned to the top of the chat is access to the website so you can download them, install them onto Trading View. All right, and there's a playlist in there which will show you how to utilize each indicator that you download. It's all free of charge and heads up to the Discord as well because that's where the pattern watchers are at. All right, so what can we expect next, guys? Look, Bitcoin's taken a tumble. It's moved down lower. I'm waiting for them to try and recover some of this red vector candle, but there is still liquidity for them to take to the downside. Look at all these longs. Based on the delta, all right, we've got $2.95 billion worth of longs that they have attacked. And are they going to take all those longs? That's the question. Because if they release all the way down here, then gosh, guys, it's going to be a terrible day. Terrible day. Here we go. Bit of a recovery. Here's the recovery. Are we going to see it? Here she goes. Back up above the daily open. Come on, Bitcoin. What have you got? These orders are coming in. Coming in strong. Back up towards the 42,000 zone right there where there is notable interest to encourage traders to step in again. The book map itself is showing an imbalance to limit. Well, it's changing between li limit buys and limit sells. Trying to establish the direction of the imbalance. Yeah, it's favoring limit buys. So they may not be finished with this range just yet, ladies and gentlemen. They may not be finished. Tino, I think pattern watchers dropped the price. If you see the top of the peak, pattern watchers are shorting. This is it. <laughs> the pattern watchers were shorting up here. If you notice right here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Retail traders, YouTube is going long in this area. Pattern watchers are going short. Red dot, red dot, red dot. This is where we go short. Pattern watchers, short. I mean, yes, a couple of the guys could have been liquidated from that point. All right. Well, we actually don't go short at the lowest point. We go short from the highest point. You know how it is. But jokes aside, guys, there is a, there is a me mechanism to this to help you understand how it works. Because 90% of people, and this is proof right here, guys. All right. This is proof on this platform. That the, the general, the conventional wisdom is that when price is rising, you go long. That's what people do. All right. But the problem is people go long at the wrong time. Look, people are going long as it's rising, rising, rising. Up it goes, up it goes. And then it always ends up turning. Why? Because in order for them to go long, the trade opposite has to be a short. And the only person that's going to match your liquidity is the market maker. So that's why you see price dropping down whenever there is an influx of movement to the upside. Likewise, when they move price to the downside, why do people go short when it's dropping? Look at that red dot right there is people going short. And then they reverse it back up and hit the liquidation points. Someone's going short in this range right here and short right there. So you can see what the basis of it is, ladies and gentlemen. Look, how many people have gone short and then they've just reversed price back up? It's crazy. You know, that's what it is. That is exactly what it is, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what I'm trying to convey in the channel. All right. With the videos that I upload all the time, it's just to get you familiar with the understanding of why they do this with price. And guess what? They do it all the time. It might sound like it's a repetition, but guess what? They do it all the time. Why? Because they don't change the business model. And I will keep saying the same thing over and over again, because until they change the way they move price, I will change what I say. What is it that you see happening all the time in the charts? Notable volume, market maker, one, two, three hits to the high, ladies and gentlemen, smack to the downside. Let's go back in time and have a look. Where did they do that last time? One, two, three hits to the high, down it goes, happy days. Give me another instance in the chart, Tino. You know, where did they do that before? Hold on a second, bro. I'll sort it out for you right now. Wait a sec, this computer is terrible. Tino, you need to change it. I'm talking to myself. I'm losing my nut, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Market maker. One, two, three hits, drop. Why is the number three so important? Because three is the magic number, guys. It's the magic number. Look, 
One, two, three hits to the high, yippee to the downside. It's simple. We say it's simple, but the idea is to train the eye to understand if that type of behavior is starting to develop. The number three is important because people respond to it. It's a psychological number. That's what it is. People react to the number three. Okay? So if you are caught up in any longs, you might need to have a conversation with yourself. The idea is to always pay yourself. All right? Always, always pay yourself, ladies and gentlemen. I can't stress it anymore. Let's have a look at where the altcoins are ended up. I need to kill this book map. I need to get this done. It's not sustaining my computer, man. I've got to stop. It's been running for the past 12 hours. Okay, then. How many times can they do this on average, Joe, before they make crypto so repulsive to the people they trap? You may in one... <laughs> you want to check out Forex, man. You want to see what they do in Forex. It's absolutely crazy. They do exactly the same in Forex. Dollar yen, straight to the downside. Happy days. Look, this is dollar yen. All right. Same principle. Here we go. We've got two big vector candles right here, but within that are three. Check this out. So we've got we've got the one zone here. Two, three hits to the high. M formation, FTD, straight down. Again, one, two, three hits to the high, drop. This is dollar yen. And this is where the strategy comes from. Forex. M formation, drop. Even dollar yen has taken the beat into the downside. Why has Bitcoin done the same thing? I don't know. Let me see what the treasury yields are saying. Yields are taking a bleed to the downside. So investors are getting scared. So that by principle will tell me gold is up. There we go. They've ran to the safe haven of gold, ladies and gentlemen. See, this is why this is this discussion about Bitcoin and gold. All right. Until you get people to be familiar with the idea of cryptocurrency, they will always run to gold because it's what they know. It's the standard. Yeah. They will always do that. It may take a little while for people to run to Bitcoin when they are scared and use it as a safe haven. But as long as gold's about, they will always move to it, man. And that's the truth. Here we go. Bitcoin, what we got? Now it's stabilizing in this range. We've got, look at that, typical. One, two, three vectors to the downside. Is this the turning point? Look, they spiked yesterday's low and they've shifted back up. We are still in line with the peak formation, ladies and gentlemen. So we are still cool, okay? They've tried to come down towards this zone right here. Look, they've taken back the previous wick. So it's going to be a very interesting 24 hours in the Asian session. It's Sydney open right now, and we've still got two more hours until the start of a new trading day. So a new daily candle, all right? So just be mindful of that, ladies and gentlemen. You know? This is what it is. All right, then. Cool. Let's have a look at some altcoins. What have we got here? All right. Crow's made a movement. Kai, Coty, Chromium. Nothing, nothing great. Kadena. What's Kadena done? It's taken a little bleed. Everything's dropped. Everything. All right. So we got a bit of a recovery. Nice little pattern formation on Coty and um, Chromia right there. So they're forming that range. Happy days. Crow, sharp move, man. Unbelievable. Look at that. Straight down. This is a freak price action. Crazy price action. You know? The only way you could make sense of this if you were looking at the liquidation points. That's the only way you could make sense of it. Let's pull up this chart right here. All right? Look at this. This was Bitcoin earlier on today, just before they made that move to the upside, before they dropped it down. Look at all the liquidation points right here. We were anticipating at some point they're going to try and come to this zone. So what did they do? Trap the green, the retail traders to the upside, stabilize price. Look how they didn't come back down towards these liquidation zones right here. And then they shifted price to the upside, as you can see what they did right there. And then they made their way down to that liquidity. They ain't going to leave money on the table, ladies and gentlemen. Market makers ain't so charitable. They're always going to come for it. So that's what I'm trying to work out with this high block is to understand 
the likelihood of price going to these points based on the way price action behaves. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, listen, I did say I've got to keep this stream short and sweet. But listen, if you are new, be sure to subscribe so you can catch up with us in the start of next week when we stream twice a day, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. OK, and make your way over to the discord, man, because the pattern watches are all there. OK, mad love and respect to every single one of you guys. So thank you very much for passing through and I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Mad love to you guys. Take care yourselves. Peace.